news from where you live. Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrochi. And I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us. It was one year ago today that Purdue student Andrew Bolt was shot and stabbed to death on Purdue's campus. Purdue President Mitch Daniels says out of the tragedy, the world got to see the caring and giving spirit of a boilermaker. Today, the university had a moment of silence for Bolt. News 18's Kelly Roberts is on campus this evening as students and faculty take time to reflect. Good evening, Kelly. Good evening, Jeff and Gina. One year ago, students say they had a lot of questions. Now they are reflecting back on what has changed and what has remained the same in the last year. Bells marking the hour and silence marking the mood. A calm wave of remembrance sweeps Purdue University one year after tragedy hit. We interrupt this regular programming to bring you some, again, some breaking news. And now we know at least one person was shot, and according to the university Twitter, one person is in custody. I don't think people fully realize that it's actually been a year, but... Is it crazy to think about? Yeah. It's a little, yeah. And it's happening in the EE right there. I'm still pretty shocked by it. I, I mean, it wasn't supposed to happen, shouldn't have happened. January 21st, 2014 started out like any ordinary day for Purdue students until that afternoon when Cody Cousins went into the electrical engineering building and shot and stabbed student Andrew Bolt to death. It was very horrifying actually. We were kind of upset. We were in the physics building. But we didn't know whether to get out or what. I thought it was pretty random. Um, I didn't think anyone would ever think of just killing someone or just like I don't know, have the audacity just to even do something like that. Purdue President Mitch Daniels says the tragedy showed more people what he already sees at Purdue, a caring, giving spirit. I like to think that that uh, that terrible incident uh, revealed a character in our students, our faculty, and everyone here that was already pretty special. That character on display one year later and the flowers and note left in front of the double E building and in the moment of silence observed by the student body and remembrance of Andrew Bolt. Students tell me there was a sadness to the rest of second semester last year. Now they are getting back to normal, a normal routine they wish would have never been interrupted one year ago.